Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day as always and better after watching today's video. I'm super excited for you to watch today's video and, I, and if you are excited to watch it too, then drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, let's get right into this video. So it is a historic moment, a very, very historic moment for Indian cricket. Why you may ask? Because a few days back on Feb 6th, India played in their 1,000th one-day international match at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. The game was against the West Indies and India created history around the world as well by becoming the first team ever to reach this amazing, amazing milestone of 1,000 ODIs. Rohit Sharma led India to victory. His first game as full-time captain was in the 1,000th ODI. And he led India to victory in this historic game as uh, India chased down 177 in less than 30 overs. And Rohit Sharma scored 60 as well. So he batted well in the 1000th game in his first game as captain and led India to victory. Now let's quickly have a look at who captained India in the various milestones in, in our history. So in our 100th game, in our 100th ODI, Kapil Dev was captain. In the 200th, it was Mohamed Azruddin. In the 300th, you never think, but it was Sachin Tendulkar. Now, uh, 400th, Mohamed Azruddin again. Then it was Saurav Ganguly in the very historic 500th ODI for India. Virendra Sevag, 600th one. And then if you, if you see the next three, the 700th, the 800th, and the 900th, these three... Uh, was were captained by MS Dhoni. So he was literally captain for more than 300 ODIs. Clearly, the, you know, the most successful ODI captain India has ever had. And then the 1,000, like I said, was captained by Rohit Sharma. As India completes 1,000 ODIs, let's take a quick uh, trip down memory lane and have a look at my top five memories and moments from Indian ODI cricket. Start with number five. Obviously, I was not following cricket at this time. I was obviously too young. But India versus South Africa, second ODI 2010. Why is it special? Because Sachin Tendulkar, the god of cricket, the master blaster, he scored his maiden and only double hundred, ODI double hundred. And India won the game by a huge margin of 153 runs, which at that time was, I think, seventh highest in terms of win, win margin. So this has to be number five for me. Number four, Champions Trophy Final 2013. India beat England in England. I think the final was at the Oval or something. And by winning it, they obviously won the Champions Trophy. And after this win, MS Dhoni became the first captain in the world to win all the three ICC tournaments. That's basically the T20 World Cup, the normal ODI Cricket World Cup and the Champions Trophy. Number three, the NatWest Trophy Final 2002, before I was even born. Uh, we beat England at Lords and you know, it was iconic because Saurav Ganguly took off his shirt on the Lords balcony and waved his shirt in the air, as you can see on the left. And yeah, I mean, I, I, this was a lovely game. I've watched highlights of it over and over again. It's a terrific game. Now, number two. This is obviously way, 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 way before I was born, decades before I was born. The World Cup final of 1983. Going into the World Cup, no, nobody believed in India to win the World Cup because, you know, there wasn't much cricket in India at that time. But we were underdogs, but Kapil Dev led the team really well to lift the World Cup at Lords. I, I saw the movie 83. Uh, it was like a good way to, for me to understand what happened, how it happened. And it was a, it was a great memory. And number one, I'm pretty sure everybody knows it. World Cup Final 2011. MS Dhoni finishes off in style. India lifts the World Cup after 28 years. Yeah, this was a, obviously my, the best ODI that I think India has ever played. Like in the 1,000 ODIs, if I had to pick the top one, like the best one, it would certainly be this. Winning the World Cup, a truly, truly amazing game. Have a look at this moment, this final moment where Tony hit the winning runs. Tony 
finishes off in style. A magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup after 28 years. Okay, so here's to a thousand more. So firstly, congratulations to India. Here's to many more matches and hopefully many more wins and hopefully many more World Cup wins as well. That is all for today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, then drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, goodbye.